Yeah. Hey guys, so today I figured I would do another current favorites because I have accumulated quite a few things over the past couple of months that I've really been loving. So I'm just gonna get right into it. The first thing is Mac Rebel, which looks like this. And I will just swatch it for you. It is like a very fuchsia color. It looks really scary in the tube, but as you can see, it's not as dark as what it shows. And I have been really loving this. I think it's a great fall color. I was kind of afraid when I first got it, but I got it for free because I did the back to Mac for the first time. And I've really, really been liking it. The next thing, which is also by Mac, is this Inner Strength Quad. I'm pretty sure this is discontinued because I did get it at the cosmetic company store. But um, I have been loving this shade here. It's like, um, it's, I think it's a little bit lighter than Naked in the Naked palette. And I've been really liking this for blending out my crease or putting it as an all over color on the lid. I've been getting a ton of use out of it and I have been just really, really liking it. <laughs> the next thing is kind of random. It is the Maybelline Great Lash Teal Appeal Mascara. So I got this at Walgreens for like $1.50 and basically it is a teal mascara but I've been really liking this especially for Halloween. I used it in a couple of my tutorials and I think that I probably would use it like if I'm going out and just want a little bit of extra color say. Um, I've used it a lot on the bottom lashes so I think it's like dark enough so that it's not like too crazy but it still gives you that nice little teal color when the light hits it. So I've been really liking this and you can't go wrong for $1.50. So it is a limited edition according to this. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to get it or not, but maybe you can find it online. The next thing I've been loving is this Revlon BB Cream. It's the Photo Ready BB Cream Skin Perfector. It has a broad spectrum SPF 30. I have the, the shade Light. And this is the first BB Cream that I've tried and actually probably the first liquid foundation I've tried in a really long time, if this counts as a liquid foundation, because as you know, I use powder foundation. Anyway, I really like this. Um, it's just a really light coverage. It basically like, cancels out my redness, not completely, depending on the day, but it just like evens out my skin tone. It is like dewy, so if you're really oily, you probably won't like this, but I just said it was my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, and I've really been liking this. The next thing I'm obsessed with, I have not stopped using it since I got it, and it's the Alme Liquid Lick, Lick, <laughs> Liquid Lip Balm, and it's just like this. It is in the shade 100 Just Plum, so I will, it's pretty similar to Rebel on my hand, so just like this, it's the top one here. And first of all, the smell of this is like, Oh, it's like vanilla cupcakes. It's so good. And this is so moisturizing. Like, it feels like you're wearing, like, chapstick on your lips. It just gives, like, a sheer tint of color. And I've been using it over lipsticks or lip liners. It's just, it's amazing. I highly recommend going and getting these. I need to pick up more colors because I'm obsessed. It's really, really awesome. Staying on the lips, I picked up this MAC Prep and Prime um, Lip when I was in Vegas, and it's just like this, it's just like a clear, kind of like a lip balm. And it really makes a difference in helping your lipstick stay on. Basically what you do is put it on your lips and kind of put it around the edge too, so like a little bit over the side of your lips, and just wait for it to kind of get tacky or like sticky. And then you apply your lip liner, your lipstick, lip gloss, whatever you want to, and it just makes it last longer basically and go on a lot smoother, because this is basically like moisturizing your lips before you put lipstick or anything on. So I've really been liking this. I've been using it when I go out to keep my lipstick in, staying on all night. The next thing I also got in Vegas, which is this dual and rollerball perfume, but I've been loving the orange side, which is the original Poppy, and this is Coach. So it comes with Poppy and Poppy Flower. And I've actually been like trying to save it because I don't want to use it all up and it smells so good. I'm not going to try to describe the scent. I will probably link in the description bar below like the link to Sephora because that's where I got it and it'll probably tell you what it smells like. I'm not even going to go into it, but it just smells like heaven. <laughs> the purple side is really good too, but I just, I really, really, really like the original poppy. And this is like 
a really good price. It's only like $22 and you get both of the perfumes and there's a good amount in this. Like I've been using this almost every single day for like two months and there's not that much gone out of it. So it's a really good deal in my opinion. The next thing is also a lip product and I got it in my um, Ipsy bag from October and it is a Starlux lip pencil in Tickle Me Pink. Just like this. It's just this color here. It goes on so creamy and smooth and easy and it's like the perfect like light pink color. I have it on today with a lip gloss over the top and I just really like it. I love the application. It's so easy to put on your lips. Like it takes like two seconds because it just glides on. So yeah, I'm really happy that I got this in my Ipsy bag. The next thing, which is also what I have on my lips today, is the NYX Butter Gloss. And this is in Maple Blondie. Just like this. And you guys know I love the NYX Mega Lip Shines. Mega lip gloss. I don't know what it is. Anyways, I love the other ones. But this one it has the same smell, which is heavenly. And it's wonderful. <laughs> so this is the color here. It's really opaque and I really like it. It's really moisturizing and yeah, I'm a big, big fan of the NYX lip glosses. Also for lip products, <laughs> can you tell I'm a lip junkie? I recently got the MAC Night Moth pencil. It's like this dark purple color. It's just this here. And everyone raves about this lip pencil because it's awesome for doing like ombre lips. You put it in the corner of your lips and kind of like drag it in a little bit and then put like red over it or with MAC Rebel you could do it and it's just been a really nice look. I really really like this pencil. I think that uh, you guys should go get it. I tried to find like a, another like drugstore kind that was similar to this color and I couldn't find anything so I had to get this one. If you're looking and you find a drugstore, do let me know in the comments below. But I really do like this one, so I mean it's gonna last forever. I think it's a good investment, and I really like doing the ombre lip. The red ombre is it's just so pretty. The next thing is this Real Techniques shading, and it's just like this little, little tiny brush for eyeshadow, and it's perfect for like getting in the corner of your eyes. I've just been using it a ton, like for all of the lid and stuff. It's really lightweight, like compared to my Sigma brushes, it seems so tiny. It, like seems like it's like a brush for for like kids or something because it's like so little. But it's really easy to control. I love the brush itself. It actually feels really smooth, and the application is gorgeous. So I really like this. The next couple of things I have are nail polishes. The first thing is the Essie Mad About You top coat, and. When I was in Canada, I was looking for this everywhere. I know you could order it online, but I just wanted to like go to a store and find it. I didn't want to go through the hassle of ordering it online. I know it sounds stupid, but I just wanted to go and find it. So everywhere that I looked, I couldn't find it. It was either sold out or they just didn't carry the product. So I finally got this when I moved down here, and I've been using it nonstop. It's just, it's so pretty. It just makes, you know, it's just something different for your nails. And I love painting my nails. I love doing different things with it. And yeah, I've just been getting a ton of use out of this top coat. The next color I got in my October Ipsy bag was my lip liner and among other things, but um, it's this Zoya polish. It's the first Zoya polish that I've ever owned and it's in Giovanna. It's like this really pretty green, kind of like turquoise color and it does stain your nails. So when you take it off, you will have green nails. I did use a base coat and it still did it, but it is such a pretty color. I love it. The application is amazing and it's just, I think I'm going to be buying lots of more Zoya polishes because it's just, it's so pretty and I really, really like how it applies. The last nail polish is this Revlon nail polish and it's in 932 Copper Penny. It's like a rose gold coppery color. I have it on my nails today and this is actually one coat. So you put, could probably use two coats, but it does, you can get like a decent amount of coverage in one coat. Um, basically I was in a rush, so I just had to do one coat and get out the door. 
but um, I've recently rediscovered this and I really like it. I love the application of it and it's just a gorgeous color, especially for the fall time. This one is completely random, but I've been finding them so handy. It's just these little like claw clips, like the little itty bitty ones. I just got a pack from, I think it's Goody, and um, it came with black and brown and clear. And these are like so handy for everything. I've been actually putting my hair up in buns, which is one of these, to so just like twist it on top of my head and just clip the end piece and it stays in. And I've just been using these so much, like getting ready, just pinning my hair out of the way and they've just been really handy. Definitely a favorite of mine recently. The next favorite is this Dove Body Wash. It's the Go Fresh Cool Moisture Body Wash in Cucumber and Green Tea Scent. So it's just like this. The smell, it's just like a, like a light, fresh, like regular body wash smell. It's not like something amazing, but this has been so moisturizing. Like I get out of the shower and it feels like I've been like lathering up in lotion for days. It's just, it's been amazing. I found that my skin, especially like my elbows and my knees and stuff, have been like a little bit dry. So since I've been using this, it's made a big difference. And this is with adding these in lotion because I'm too lazy when I get out of the shower to put on body lotion. So this has been working amazingly for me. If you're lazy like I am, you should get this. And I actually picked this up at Costco in a three pack. So that's why they're huge. <laughs> the last like beauty product is my Batiste Dry Shampoo. This is just a blush one. I'm not really particular about the certain kind. I just basically pick up whatever's there. But this is like a holy grail product for me. It's just been amazing. This is pretty much a favorite all the time. But I find like recently I've been using it a lot more and it's just it works really good. I will say that if you spray it up close, if you see my Ursula um, video, it does give a white cast, but I never have a problem with it leaving a white cast in my hair. I just spray it further away from my head and just massage it in, and I don't have any issues with it. However, you can get the um, dark, for dark hair, so for like brunettes or for people with black hair, and it's kind of tinted, so you won't get the white cast at all if you have really dark hair and you feel like you need to get that kind. But, like, as you can see, my hair is pretty brown, and I use the regular one, and I think it's fine. Works amazing, absorbs all the oil. This one smells pretty good. I don't know how to explain what it's like. It says floral and flirty, so, I don't know. But it works really, really good. And the last couple of things are just fashion items. I've been obsessed with statement necklaces. If you have me on Instagram, you will notice that I've been wearing them a lot. If you don't have me on Instagram, you should add me. It's at Jen Ryle. I always have my links down below in the description bar if you ever need them, but my Twitter and Instagram is at Jen Ryle, so you should add me there. We can be friends. Um, but anyways, this necklace has been my favorite of all my statement necklaces. Just like nude and black, kind of in a triangular shape, and I've been wearing this so much, and yeah. I'm obsessed with it. I got it at the outlets. Um, I think the store's called New York, New York. I'm not really sure, but um, I seen it on a mannequin. And I was like, oh my god, I need to have this necklace. It's so pretty, and it goes with so many outfits. So, yup, that's how I feel about that. <laughs> the next thing is this like denim shirt. It's like a light wash denim shirt. I don't button up blouse thingy, and it has like those sleeves that roll up. And has a little thing to keep them up. I got this at Kohl's. It was $13 because it's on sale. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's so comfy and just cute. You can dress it up or down. I've been wearing it like every single day, pretty much. <laughs> I really, really enjoy the shirt. And it's $13. Like, how can you go around with that? The next thing are these printed leggings, and they are from Forever 21. They're just like kind of like arrows, I guess. They are so comfy, and I've been wearing them all the time. Especially with that jean shirt, they're so, such a cute little outfit and just throw on my wannabe toms and they go really well together. Just something comfy and casual to look put together, but it's just, you feel like you're wearing pajamas. I also have been loving this navy button-up blouse. It is like a sheer material and it's so soft, like so soft. It feels like heaven. It was only $10. I got it at the same store. I got that necklace, which I, like I said, I think it's New York, New York. I'm not really sure, but I've been wearing this a lot too. It's so, so comfy. Like it just, oh, so soft and amazing and I love it. And yeah, that's all of my favorite. A couple of random things though that have I've been loving lately um, has been Twitter. I've really 
like I like Twitter before, but I've been using it a lot more lately because I've really been connecting with a lot of beauty bloggers, either girls who do YouTube videos like me or girls who just write beauty blogs and they've all been amazing. I'm going to pick five of my favorites for recently and I will link their blogs and all their information in the description bar, bar below. So make sure that you go and check that out. I'll also list their usernames for Twitter right here. I've really, really been enjoying. I can't tell you enough how I am so surprised by how nice these girls have been and how supportive and just amazing. They are all wonderful. They are amazing girls. You really need to go be friends. So yeah, like I said, I'll pick my top five for recently and put them in the description box below. I will also have all the products that I showed in this video listed down below as well. My Instagram, Twitter, my Google Plus, all that will be in the description bar. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to stop rambling now. I hope you guys enjoyed my favorites. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.